Thank you for your interest in the Excella Glove. This video will provide a brief introduction to the Excella Glove's capabilities and one of the key software components provided with it, the Excella Glove Visualizer. First, let me explain how the Excella Glove works. To detect finger and hand position motion, the Excella Glove has six small accelerometers, one for each finger and one for the back of the hand. Each accelerometer has three sensing elements that correspond to the X, Y, and Z signals output from the glove. If your hand is horizontal, the Z sensing element is oriented along an axis that's perpendicular to the Earth's surface, the gravity vector. X and Y both lay in a plane that is perpendicular to the Z axis, offset from each other by 90 degrees. When putting on the glove, it is important to adjust each of the four fingers such that the seam at the end of each finger opening is positioned at the first joint from the end of your fingertip. Your entire fingertip should be exposed. The Excella Glove comes with the Software Developers Toolkit, or SDK, that provides the necessary software for developers to integrate the Excella Glove with their own software applications. A primary component of the SDK is the Excella Glove Visualizer. The Visualizer is a multi-purpose application that works with Excella Glove, providing the ability to view the output values of the accelerometers. It can also be used to capture and define gesture libraries, recognize gestures, display gesture recognition probability, output data, and perform diagnostics. The main screen you see here displays the data being streamed from the Excella Glove, which is plugged into the USB port of my computer. The far left side of the chart displays the names of each accelerometer, index for the index finger, thumb for the thumb, and so on. Within the chart area, the X, Y, and Z access data is plotted in the corresponding colors as shown in the legend, red for X, green for Y, and Z for yellow. The scale displayed on the left displays the data range. As you can see, as I move my thumb, you can see the X, Y, and Z access data being changed in the graph on the screen. As I move my index finger, you see the same thing. The maximum sampling rate is 35 hertz, or 630 axes per second. The orientation range is 180 degrees for each axis X, Y, and Z. In order to train new gestures, you must first create a library in which to store them. New gestures can be trained by capturing one or more instances of the same gesture. When there are multiple instances recorded of the same gesture, recognition reliability is high because the system is matching against multiple samples. To recognize gestures, the first thing you'll need to do is build the model. Once built, the library is in a ready state and we can begin to recognize our gestures. So when I click recognize gesture and make the stop position with my hand, the Excella Glove Visualizer will recognize and display the name of the gesture being made along with the probability that this is the gesture being made. So we can see here the last gesture was stop with a probability of 99%. There is a user settable probability acceptance threshold that tunes the recognition engine to be more or less discriminating. Only gestures above the probability acceptance threshold will be displayed and reported. For example, if the filter is set to 90%, only gestures that achieve between 90 and 100% probability will be displayed as the recognized gesture. Another capability of the visualizer is the gesture data analyzer. What you see in this screen is the gestures for the selected library displayed on the left panel. The data set for each gesture in the library is plotted in the graph to the right in a different color. This allows you to easily compare the probability of occurrence of the gesture being made to the probability of occurrence to other gestures in the library. The visualizer also provides a number of other capabilities. The ability to open or import libraries so libraries can be shared, as well as the ability to output the data into a comma-separated variable or CSV file, which can be imported into Microsoft Excel. 
Thank you again for your interest in the Excella Glove. Feel free to learn more at our website, www.excellaglove.com, and don't forget to stop by the Frequently Asked Questions page.